Hey there! Alrighty, so I have another DIY for you guys, and this is actually one that I saw in lots of different places containing different ingredients, but primarily it would have mint and rosemary in this DIY. Now, as you know, I have been looking for some really easy, fast to make DIYs that I could actually keep up with making, you know, every so often. And this is one that I kept seeing popping up, so I was looking up um, different DIYs. So I make this with mint and rosemary. Um, and I call it my mint and rosemary spritz. So really you can use it um, in place of your everyday water bottle that you spritz your hair with, okay? So it's just that. Now what I do is I tend to make a big batch like I do with most of my DIYs and then I put it in the freezer. So on wash day, before I'm going to start styling, um, if I know I'm doing a style where I'm going to be spraying my hair with water, I use this spritz instead. Super easy. So, um, you know, if you've looked at all of my DIY videos, I really want easy things like I mentioned. And this one does require one fresh ingredient though, the mint leaves of course. Um, so what I do, like I said, is I make a big batch at one point and then I just go ahead and use the frozen ones um, for quite a while. So that'll maybe last me two, three, four months sometimes. So it doesn't mean that I actually need to go out and buy fresh ingredients um, every week or so to make this spritz. But yeah, you can use it um, as a spritz for your hair. You can also use it um, in other ways like a rinse, for example. I use rinses on wash day after I'm done with my full wash day. Then I use a rinse on my hair um, as like my first layer of moisture. So you can do that and then use your leave-in and all your other goodies. Um, another way to use it is like when you're styling, just like I mentioned before, you want to re-wet your hair, go ahead and use this spritz instead of just regular water. Um, or if you're retwisting your hair midweek and you want to add in some moisture, again, you can use this spritz on your scalp, on the length of your hair, and it is super customizable to you, okay? Whatever you need to use it for, you can certainly do that. Um, and you can use it with other ingredients added in there. Mine is simple, just two, but if you want to make it even more simple, get rid of one of the items and you're just going to use mint, okay? Super easy. It's just mint infused water and it's still beneficial for your hair. So I will show you how I make it and freeze it. Super, super easy. All right. See you guys later. So I'll be using four cups of water. To that, I am adding two tablespoons of rosemary leaves. And this is a fresh bundle of mint that I picked up at my grocery store, but I'm only going to be using a part of it. So this is one cup of those mint leaves. Go ahead and give that a stir and then cover it and you're just going to slowly heat this on like medium heat somewhere in there so it slowly comes to a boil. Now once it reaches a rolling boil like this, you can go ahead and give it a couple stirs to make sure nothing is sticking anywhere and then let it continue to boil for 5 minutes. Alrighty, so after your five minutes, go ahead and remove the pot off of the heat, turn off your stove, and we are just gonna let this sit and hang out for a little while to get cool and keep infusing. So I poured mine into this container here. I'm just gonna give it a stir and let it hang out for a couple hours until it's fully cool. All right, it's been a couple of hours. My mixture is cooled and you can see it's gotten a lot darker. Save those mint leaves because we're going to use them in a minute. All 
All right, grab your mint leaves. Now this is totally optional, but I like to put one or two mint leaves into each of the cubes. Personally, I think it just looks really nice and it also adds a little bit of an extra punch for the mint as it's just sitting there in the cubes and then as you defrost them later, you get that fresh mint smell all over again. So in order to use these, all you need to do is take out the amount of cubes that you need um, for the length of your hair, go ahead and defrost them before your wash day or before you start styling, and then you can just put that straight into your spray bottle and go ahead and use it the same way you would um, a bottle of water to mist your hair as you're styling. Alright, thanks for watching guys, bye!